Any variation in the size is due to the flatness or parallelism of those two measuring faces. Then we'll report the range of those results, the maximum minus the minimum, is reported as what we'll call the parallelism. In this case, I saw no range, and so the reading would be zero. Now this method is generally not as accurate as using an optical parallel, but it's easy and efficient to do. When a calibration method is not easy to do, and it is not the primary test, we often see labs skipping it. So we recommend using the ball because anybody can do it, and it's a much better than not doing anything at all. We've also heard that some labs will use the optical parallel or optical flat if the test with the ball fails because you can get a better idea of why it's failing. That seems like a pretty good idea, but we'll save using the optical parallel or flat for future episodes of the Metrology Training Lab.